Hey man, Kevin Snake Durant back at it again. So guys, tell me in the comment section, will Kevin Durant resign with the Warriors in the 2017-2018 NBA season? Because I'm hearing that he just declined to resign with the Warriors for now until July 1st. So on July 1st, Kevin Durant will be a free agent and he's gonna have to decide if he wants to stay with the Warriors or leave the Warriors. Tell me why I feel like Kevin Durant was about to sign that Warriors contract to stay with them and then he heard that Chris Paul was sent to the Rockets and that they're trying to get Paul George. Kevin Durant was about to sign that contract and he said, now nah, hold on, wait a minute. I'm gonna wait to see what happens and I'm gonna resign. Kevin Snake Durant back at it again. You never know what Kevin Snake Durant might do. Watch, one day you're gonna see him on the Warriors, the next day you're gonna see him in a Rockets jersey. And I mean, that's interesting. Why would Kevin Durant decline the contract to play for the Warriors in the 2017 and 18 season unless you want to leave and I mean it only makes sense I mean have you seen the Rockets right now they got Chris Paul and James Harden and right now they're trying to get Blake Griffin Carmelo Anthony and possibly Paul George and if we look at the Lakers right now they got Lonzo Ball and they're trying to get Paul George and LeBron James and Lonzo Ball already says that he wants to play with LeBron James so who knows maybe Kevin Durant might actually leave the Warriors as soon as he becomes a free agent on July 1st but I don't think he's gonna leave so guys tell me in the comment section will Kevin Durant resign with the Warriors in the 2017-2018 NBA season but most likely Kevin Durant will stay because in the 2017 NBA playoffs I mean Durant averaged 28.5 points 8 rebounds 4.3 assists and 1.3 blocks and he shot 55% from the field and he shot 44% from three so most likely Kevin Durant will stay with the Warriors I mean he's in a good situation they have a super team and I mean the only reason why Kevin Durant would leave is if Stephen Curry leaves doing free agency if they don't pay Stephen Curry the amount that he's happy with but I mean I think they'll negotiate to keep them both on the same team but it's really getting interesting in the offseason and we're gonna have to see. I mean, if you were Kevin Durant, would you leave to join the Rockets or the Lakers if they get Paul George? And I mean, if I was Kevin Durant, which I'm not because I would not betray Russell Westbrook. But anyway, if I was Kevin Durant, to me, I'd look to leave. I mean, the Rockets are looking good with Chris Paul and James Harden. But I mean, also, I would be in a good situation playing with Stephen Curry, Draymond Green, and Klay Thompson. I mean, the, the Warriors are so stacked that if, even on defense, they're good. I mean, they're good both on defense and offense. And I mean, the Cavs only beat them once in the finals. I mean, when you have a team like that, I mean, it'll be hard to walk away from that type of team. And trust me, the Warriors are not willing to lose Kevin Durant. He's, he's rare. A player like that is rare in the NBA. And to keep him would mean to sell more tickets and to win more rings. But if KD joined the Rockets, I wouldn't blame him. I mean, Chris Paul and James Harden. But we'll have to see what happens. But tell me in the comment section, should Kevin Durant leave the Warriors and join the Rockets? But I'm out.